In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import your fabric from Marvel Designer and how to convert it to quads and you can UV it, then you could do the texturing and shading. And you can also details as well. Uh, let's get started. So I have my Maya here. So this is the cube I just created for the demo purpose. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Marvel Designer. I'm going to say hit new. And I'm going to file import OBJ. Where's the cube? And Laura's avatar. And click OK. So now I have this cube here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, like a simple rectangular shape. Um, after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shape, rotate it to 90 degrees. So that we could, we could see him falling on. So I'm going to hit simulate. So the simulation proceeds and it's my cube and the fabric pattern is awesome. I love it. Um, it's kind of falling down to if you want, what you could do is you could go here. You could stop the simulation button. Then you could also change the shape as well. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So it's gonna happen here. You can see. Um, it's start at a certain point. If you want, you can move it around and do whatever you want. So now I have my mesh here, and I'm gonna like this. So you can see we have a tablecloth. So what I'm gonna do is go and select this and say file, export, and OBJ selected. So I'm gonna say this as um, cloth I as my iris. I'm gonna save it, say replace it. So I'm gonna do a single object. If you have multiple objects, you could do multiple objects as well. Uh, but it's better to do single objects because sometimes it's easier to project in ZBrush and it's easy to UV it as well. And make sure you give thin because what thin does is, uh, thin gives one mesh. It doesn't have any thickness to it. If you give thick, there'll be thickness to it. There'll be like three meshes. And make sure you give wealth if you have a uh, two or if you have two patterns and uh, two or three more patterns you could weld it weld it means it merges the vertices if you do unweld it doesn't merge the vertices so you have like separate pieces for uh, separate faces for in maya and separate poly groups in zbrush so i usually give weld and you could do one object or multiple objects so it does the same if the single object does it it, it it exports all your pattern as a one pattern and if you have um, multiple objects it's going to import your pattern as different pieces and you say unified UV coordinates because it's going to come with the UVs um, the UVs is the one you uh, see in the 2d pattern window so you hit ok so it's going to export with the material so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say reset uh, 2d arrangement so this is the tutorial arrangement what we have uh, in the first stage. So I'm going to say export, I'm going to select it. I'm going to say this is a UV. And I'm going to say single object and I'm going to say 10. The tick is turned on. So I'm going to say weld and I'm going to say okay. So that's what I'm moving to Maya now. So I have the same cube at the same position. I'm going to select I object and the UV object and grab it. So this is my UVs. And this is my cloth. And if you go to my polygons, you can see the UV is right here. And it has the same UVs and vertices as well. So the easiest way to match to, to this one, because I want to make this pattern to a uh, like a quad. Um, in order to make the quads, we have to take a step before doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend since we have the same vertices and same uvs we could blend shape my cloth into the uv one so i'm going to select my cloth first i'm going to select my 2d i'm going to animation tab oops i'm going to go to animation tab go to deformers and i'm going to set blend shape uh, nothing happened because if you go to here the uv one 
type the blade shaper. It's going to that. So now, I have my cube and my iris mesh. There you go, my UV is right there. You can literally see it somewhere. So now, if I go back, you can see it goes back to that one. So now you can see yeah, I just assigned a uh, shader and you can see it there and now what you could do is I want to make this to quad so to make it quad I'm going to put it in a live stage I'm going to create polygon tool just snapping through the vertices in the corners so now I have a plane First, my normals, the normals were reversed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some and um, let's make it even denser. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add where is my options? For some reason, my uh, Maya is acting up because I couldn't see the menus here. Anyway, so what I'll do. Okay, there you go. So now, if I go back, you can see uh, this is my mesh from Model Designer, and this is the mesh I created in. Uh, in Maya itself. Uh, since it doesn't have enough subdivisions, you could, if you want, you could also have a smooth modifier on top of it. So now this just subdivides have certain uh, subdivisions in it. So now what you could do is you could select this mesh and select the other one, and you could say deformer wrap. So what this going to do now is if I'm going to my blend shape, and if I do this. No, it's other way around. So I'm gonna select my Q mesh and I'm gonna say wrap. So now if I go to my blend shape and if I do that, it's going to, I'm gonna hide my mesh. Oh, there you go, there's your quads. Um, uh, if you have IS subdivisions, it's gonna give, I'm gonna turn on my mesh as well. So if you see, it's literally matching it's so now you could take this to zbrush and project it and you could add details and you can if you can if you want go to your uv uv editor and it's gonna have the same uvs so this is how you export uh, meshes from fabrics from oral designer to maya then you could export to zbrush and you could add a lot of details and uh, if you have any questions regarding this uh, or hit me up uh, i will happy to uh, help you guys as well um, to recap everything i'm going to show everything again keep my share keep my share so so this is my 2d i created a 2d pattern window and then i simulated it simulate my mesh so now we are a fabric, then I went to file, export, OBJ selected, and make sure, make sure do a single object and thin, and say well, uh, unified UV coordinate, so it uh, exports with a UV, and click OK. Then click on reset uh, to the arrangement, then go to file, export, OBJ selected, and say UV, and same thing, object selected, and say thin uh, single object if you have multiple objects select multiple objects and weld and unified UV coordinates unified UV coordinates and click OK and now we have everything then you import to Maya so now we have the IRS and the UV uh, so what you do is you select the cloth first because we are blending in uh, the 2D pattern to the the fabric pattern so select this one first and select this one and go to animation tab and go to constraint uh, go to deformer and say blend shape and that's going to and 
that's going to where's my that's gonna create a blend shape and So that's gonna create a blend shape. I wanna grab the blend shape so I guess you can see it. Then you warp it around it. So once you create a blend shape, you go and make a plane, match it to this shape, and select the plane first, and the, um, select the mesh first, then the plane, and say deformer, and warp. Then once you go and, once you fix the blend shape, the quad model is going to uh, follow it. So the more subdivisions you have, the more it follows it. Then you can import this both into ZBrush and you could uh, add some more details and you could uh, UV it as well. So that's it guys. And this is how you import a model designer to uh, Maya. It's straightforward. And if you like this tutorial, please like, subscribe and comment below. If you have uh, any questions, hit me up at uh, 3dmuser.gmail.com. I will be happy to answer your question. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.